in the real world nothing comes for free in the real world there are no free rides no telephone calls no free meals but if you are a member of parliament in india it's a totally different story on paper mp salaries have been raised to 50000 rupees a month a 300% hike that's 6 lakhs rupees a year but throw in the mix of free business class flights accommodation electricity telephone calls assistance constituency allowance da da and all of that together and the cost to the nation of an mp is 5 lakh rupees a month that's 60 lakh rupees a year not 6 lakh rupees a year and apart from the basic salary it's all tax free i'm not including medical benefits and pension benefits which are usually included in some calculations of cost to company but that's not the point tonight this 300% hike for members of parliament is not enough they want 500% that's the big debate tonight i am joined tonight by abhishek manu singh the rajya sabha mp one of india's most eminent lawyers congress spokesperson i'm also joined by the eminent rahul bajaj member of parliament and very respected industrialist i'm joined by shankar prasad who is former dgmo of the indian army and captain sidhu who joins me tonight from chandigarh is known to many of our viewers as the war veteran who out of sheer frustration burnt his artificial limbs at india gate four to four and a half hours half years back because he had not been paid his basic dues by the government of india captain sidhu welcome rahul bajaj my first question is for you now you're not exactly impoverished mr rahul bajaj but in real terms in your company who would you give a 500% hike or a 300% hike this is a question is a little misleading arnab when you talk about 300 500% hike which of course looks outrageous it depends on on what if somebody is getting already a, let's say a crore rupees is one situation if you are getting what you should be getting as most people are getting then they get 10 to 12% per annum per annum each year yeah but if you are getting much lower than what others are getting and at the moment we talk your salaries we come to the total cost 40 lakhs a year 60 lakhs a year huh. and i'm no longer an mp so i don't benefit by that i was an mp uh 16000 is whose salary in organized sector in india today It's public sector private sector mr bajaj i contest so, the 16000 figure I contest the sixteen thousand okay. figure. No, I am talking. I repeat, you cannot contest or not the salary figure of sixteen, or if I do the honorarium of sixteen. You are yeah. talking of free got uh, rail fare. You are talking of air fare. Yeah. You are talking of thousand rupees DA. You are talking of yes, constituency allowance. I have no. got all that. I have got all that. I am talking. So I know Hindi is called roti, kapra, makan. Basic salary fifty thousand. Yeah, air kapra. fare two lakh rupees. Rent on an average on a conservative estimate. If you stay in Lutians Delhi, one and a half lakh rupees. T A D A twelve thousand. Electricity and telephone fifty thousand. They want more. Constituency allowance twenty thousand. Others eighteen thousand. Monthly cost to the nation five lakh rupees. Medical and pension so extra. You can count all Medical that. Medical and pension not. extra. Now I don't have a, I don't have a grouse against that pay, but I'm putting the facts on the table. Yes, Rahul Bajaj company. For the top people, pays even two, three crore rupees every year. That's are you right. hearing me? No. Can I talk? Or, I'm uh, sure it's linked to their performance. I'm sure it's li linked to their that performance. That is the point. I, people are unhappy. People are angry because they have a perception, partly correct, that a lot of MPs do not work. Yeah. They make black money. They are not honest, etc., etc. They that view is something which partly I'm not saying is fully right. But partly is correct, and that's where the problem comes. Then okay. you don't. Then you say what you are already getting is already overpaid. You are already overpaid. No, my 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 But point is also broader. Top no, no. of the if no my, my yes. yes go ahead or not? No no no. My point, Mr. Bajaj, and I want to actually get Mr. Mr. Dr. Singhvi to come. I'm just coming back to you, uh, Mr. Bajaj. My question to Abhishek Manu Singhvi is this: Abhishek Sir Singhvi, there's something wrong about standing in judgment. You are such an eminent lawyer. you can't be you know standing in judgment of your own salary it happens nowhere in the world it doesn't happen for army officers there's one army officer on the pay commission there are others who are from different services now on monday no no, no one minute dr singhvi let me complete on monday your government was against the hike on thursday it was all for the hike 
I find it strange in a country where say army officers are fighting for years upon years for one rank, one pay. But MPs in three days seems to resolve their own issue. Why? Arnab, uh, you have to decide whether you want to have a sensationalism and an emo emotional thing or a logical debate where some relevant facts will come. Purely logical. Let's not just exaggerate. Number two, uh, I actually agree with the sentiment expressed by you on many of the issues. Arnab, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You are loud and clear, sir. Go on. Yes. Uh, I can I, I can sympathize and agree also partly with many of the sentiments you've expressed. Let's look at them one by one and there's a logic to the whole thing. For example, I entirely agree that MPs should have a statutory commission or some kind of a third party commission to decide this. Actually, a year, year ago, there was this proposal and I think it's time we enacted it. I think it's because of the delay that has not been done that this thing happens. They will be able to get proper and even greater increases with more credibility. They should not vote. At the moment, however, they have to vote because the doctrine of necessity. There is no other way because parliament alone can vote on such things and parliament means the MPs themselves. But I agree with you, in due course and very short course of time we should do that. I am certainly going to push for it. No. Number two, I think the greatest fallacy in the whole thing is to assume that what you are paying MPs is for what they do in parliament alone. This is a mistake. This is completely wrong. What they do in those five, six hours in parliament is important, but an MP you have to look holistically and that balance has to be kept. He has a lot to do in the constituency. Even Raj Sabha MPs have to do a lot in their states and a lot of attendant things. So don't just limit your view to that one narrow thing. No. Thirdly, I am all, for example, uh, you know, there is a dichotomy in MPs. There is a class, it is not a very large class, of those who are professionals, those who are businessmen, or those who are otherwise well healed. I use that phrase generally. I am all, for example, that you might have even a dual system of pay, salary, and allowances. There is no reason why professional like me or businessman like Mr. Rahul Bajaj should be paid the same allowances and benefits as other MPs are. But that's not the system. It's not that no. they are asking for no, it. No, it's no. that the system is like that. But let me tell you, one minute. The point I'm making is there is 70% out there or 60% or 80% out no. there which who are MPs, who are people yeah. of modest means. Yeah. Especially in the Lok Sabha. People sure. of very modest means have come up the hard way. No, no, but and sir. And need support. No, sir. I, uh, next I, point. Next point. Now, just give me a second. Just give me a second. Uh, you, you are right that there are a lot of allowances. I am sure a lot of MPs are happy to get rid of some of the allowances which are notional and get sure. more hard cash. 16,000 plus the four allowances we get, 40,000. So you are hopping on the 16,000 no figure. A person can establish a... No, no, uh, not 16,000. No, 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 no. I am adding no. all the monetary allowances. No. No. I am saying this... Still, no, first of all, Dr. Singhvi. Dr. Singhvi. No, Dr. Singhvi. You, you and Rahul Bajaj are saying, look at the base what we get. Now, why don't we tell that to the army officer or the army jawan? Why don't we tell yes, the jawan to... Let me answer that. No, no, no. no, no I, I, want yes. doctor, I, want, I want the army officer and uh, Captain Sidhu, both of them, to come. No, can I answer half a minute? No, 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 but my can point I is... Can 30 no, seconds? No, I, 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 let, yes. them, let them contest you and then I want yes. you to come back. My point is simple. You are misquoting us. I didn't say only consider 16,000. No, no. You said the base, sir. You said the base is small, so don't... I just said that's the base figure, but I didn't say... That should be Arnab, everything should be counted. Half a second. No, no, sir. Arnab, you are putting Arnab words in my mouth. Seconds. You, no, no, but you must let me ask a longer question, that. then uh, allow us to answer. No, no, no. One second. Rahul, Rahul Bajaj, Arnab, I, I'm not putting Arnab, words in your mouth. Seconds, I wouldn't yeah. dare to. Simple point I'm making is railways had a 21% hike. Teachers in the last sector, pay, pay commission, got a 30% hike. Bureaucrats got a 30% hike. Army, after fighting for years and saying this is how we are being disadvantaged, got some 38% hike. MPs get a 300% hike, want a 500% hike. Now, this, this is too glaring. Out of this, no, it's clear. 300% is not on the total risky. amount. That's the whole question. The 50,000 is over 16,000. That's what I'm saying is 300% on 16,000. Yeah, yeah. okay. It's not your 5 lakhs is not becoming 15 lakhs. Your 60 yes. lakhs is not yes. becoming 1 crore 80 yes. lakhs. Yes. So please don't mislead yeah, people. Yes, yes sir, but I'm even a brigadier in the Indian Army. Wrong kind of politician. In fact, I would suggest by saying the party should pick better people to be members of parliament. No, no, but why this... Who are not corrupt. No, uh, one, second. one second. Sir. One, one second, sir. I, I, I'm going to go to, straight to the gen general now and then to Captain Sidhu. My logical question is airlines are bleeding. 
Indian Airlines is bleeding, taxpayer is paying for the airline, who is getting 50 free business class tickets after this hike? The MP. Now that's that's got to be answered. Janesh Shankar Prasad, I want you to come in. Do you agree with the points being made here? See, the simple point that I wish to make is that here are a set of people in the society who decide their own pay. Fine, whatever the people are saying, I, I don't want to fight with them. But here is an army officer, the armed forces, who don't even have a representative on the uh, on the sixth pay commission. We are somebody from the Ministry of Defence goes and represents and puts our case, but there is nobody to represent us on the sixth pay commission. It is but for your channel, and I want to tell you so very clearly that what we have got today, we would not have even got this. After the sixth pay commission gave its verdict, it took nearly one year, nearly a year, by all kinds of media to propagate our case when finally the government gave us some bet. Here is a case of one rank, one pension which you, must, which you just mentioned at the beginning of the show. Every political party has supported it. The courts have given a ruling that one rank, one pension should be given. Yet the government has gone back in an appeal to the, to the courts. I can't understand what is the logic. When the floods take place in a country, the army is the first one to be called. When earthquake takes place in Gujarat, the army gets there. When the Commonwealth Games are in trouble, the army is called up. Everybody in the Commonwealth Games who is working there for the last three years is getting salaries in lakhs. Here is an army set of people who are going to work major, major in the, in the Commonwealth Games. 20,000 rupees per month to an army officer is being denied. 15,000 or 10,000 rupees to be jawans are being denied saying they must wait free. I can't understand how long this country is going to take the army for granted just because we are a disciplined force, <coughs> just because we are under an army act. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair at all to treat us like this. It's not only the army. Captain Sidhu, let me get Captain Sidhu in because Captain Sidhu, Captain Sidhu fought for his basic allowance as a war veteran and he, you know, four and a half years back the whole country stood up in silence when Captain Sidhu and a few other veterans burnt their, I cannot forget the moment, when they, when they burnt their artificial limbs outside India Gate, it was a wake-up call. I cannot help but contrast Rahul Bajaj today's, you know, parliament blockage over a 500% hike to what we saw four and a half years back. Captain Sidhu. I think as now 500 is too less, they should be given 700. The amount of hard work they put in, they disturb parliament, they shout in the parliament, the labor they put in, they deserve much, much more. Look at me, I fought 32 years in the courts and everything to get my dues and still even after the Honorable Supreme Court has uh, passed their judgment, still I have to go in a contempt of court, they are not paying me. And look at the convenient, how our Honorable Defence Minister comes and make a statement in Parliament, there are 14,000 officers shot in the Indian Armed Forces. Isn't it shameless? Why? Why there are 14? Uh, today our, our battalions are 50% on strength. It's very good that Manu Singh is here today and he is listening to me. Tomorrow you want to fight with Pakistan and you only have your 50% strength of officers in the battalions? How you expect your army to fight that out? And when it comes to separate pay commission? Army, no separate pay commission. When it comes to one rank and one pension? No, it's not, uh, it, it is not viable because funds are not there. I had last time also told, you please give army one IPL team, we won't ask even pay from you. What is this ridiculous? That one way, uh, our, our, our officers, sixth, uh, fourth pay commission, the nominees were found. They cheated the, uh, our officers. And when it was found, Honorable Supreme Court ordered it, double bench ordered it. Instead of paying it, they have gone for review. Those poor fellows, half of them will die by the time case is decided. This is the way you are treating your armed forces and treat yourself in parliament. These, these are the lawmakers. It's a shame on part of the country should wake up. Dr. Singhvi, this is a sentiment which is not just an emotional and sensational sentiment. It's a sentiment, it, it, it will be a compared. Every sector, every professional, every person, MP or army officer or Jawan or anyone on PSU works hard. The percentage will be compared. Arnab, Arnab, uh, I don't think, uh, there are I think very few people who can be more proud of our armed forces than the average member of parliament. But you know, emotion does take over. We are now talking of two unconnectable things. Let me tell you two examples of why the two are unconnectable. Number one, the fact that you increase MP's salary from the very, very, very low figure of 16,000 
to what you misleadingly refer to as 300 percent, which is really from 16,000 base, has nothing to do with a separate malaise. Oh, it's a terrible malaise. I agree with 90 percent of what Professor Mr. Sindhu is saying. It should be rectified. It should be looked into. There is no business for a government not to pay Mr. Sindhu after his one in the Supreme Court. But tell me, why should that impact the increase no. of salary from 16 to 50? No, because I'll ask for emotion. No, no, it's not emotion. Logically, one minute, one it's minute. It's not emotion. complete. You see, you ask me a question. Let me complete. Arna, please, please. A second example. Uh, you have the, basically the reason why you have this emotion on such programs like yours or such issues is because people believe that look. MPs at the end of the day are a privileged class. Many of them have much more money than they pretend. They are corrupt. Look, there are probably 20, 30, 40 percent here, I'm, I'm, I don't know, persons who are inefficient, who do misgovernance and who may be corrupt. There are the vast majority who are not. By a blanket rule of 16,000 or a blanket rule of 50,000, are you going to cure the corrupt? Okay, you must attack the corrupt, punish them, expose them. I, I but how are you going to cure it by underpaying them? No, no, I, I agree with I you, have Captain Sidhu has a Singhi. question for you. Yes, Captain Sidhu, go on. Manu Singhi, uh, Manu Singhi, you are an advocate also and you are from the ruling party. Now, the veterans have won the case after 20 years for a anomalies which occurred in a Fourth Bay Commission and Supreme Court double bench has ordered it. Now your government instead of paying it, when finance minister has already sanctioned it, you have gone for review, kindly tell your government to withdraw it, that is why you are short of 14,000 officers, and kindly tell your government to withdraw it and pay the veterans. 20% of them have died, rest are on the verge of dying. What, what, what the hell is the happening in this country? Arnab, yeah. Arnab, the answer is that we have to look seriously at the legitimate complaints of persons like Captain Sindhu. Certainly, I don't know the facts of this, but I can do everything possible in my power to help that. But does that connect with, and should it connect with, an emotive argument that keep the salaries of MPs? No, no, can I? That's the logic of it. Yeah, can it's I? an unfortunate thing. It's difficult to keep logic from an OV van in an emotionally surcharged topic. The way no, 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 no. Still, the logic remains. I would fight to death for Mr. Captain Sindhu's right, both to his own dues and to the points he's making, but I would equally support largely the increase of 16,000 to 50,000. No, I, I find no contradiction between these two themes. I, I, I will debate this, uh, Abhishek Manu Singh, be devoid of emotion and based on cold hard fact. And here's a fact for Rahul Bajaj. Rahul Bajaj, here's the fact. This is largest Rahul Bajaj. You know, when you say 16,000 to 50,000, allow me to complete, okay, I understand. But an MP today and his spouse and his help get unlimited first class AC travel anywhere across India. Besides which they get some 36 round business class trips. Now they have as part of this lump sum package, why I am accusing this of largesse is, they say we don't want 36 business, we want 50 business class trips. Now the additional cost of the business class trips to the exchequer is over 3 lakh rupees. So my question is, okay, you say we get a less salary, fine. But what is this luxury of 50 business class airfare, the difference of which is basically the salary of a captain in the Indian Army who will be in Siachen putting his life for the nation? The annual salary of a captain of the Indian Army is the difference between the cost of business class tickets earlier and business class tickets now for an honorable MP. Now that's cold hard fact for you Rahul Bajaj. Cold hard fact. I'm not talking about basic salary. Cold or hard or hot facts, Arnav, you have spoken for about three minutes. Let me speak for at least an equal amount of time, otherwise the questions are becoming longer than the answers. I'm not, I'm not even an MP, please bear in mind. I'm not justifying something for the sake of justifying it. I agree with Abhishek at this point that the emotion comes in when you start comparing defence services with MPs. Why not? Then we have to compare everybody. What no, about the per capita income of India? It's $900 a year. No. People today, 70% according to the Arjun Sen Gupta committee report, 70% of Indians live so on then, 20 rupees a day. So let's not bring that out. That's the problem of our country 60, 60 years after independence. Great country, great growth, but a large number of poor people. So let's not compare this. Question is, I don't have the time to go into it. All over the world you compare. Most countries pay their member, members of parliament more than what we are going to, what the MPs are going to get even after this increase. 
all that you are looks funny it is a fact mm. 300 percent that does look funny because it's 16,000 to 50,000 if it was 80,000 is 500 percent but the total which you are saying including etc does not become three 300 percent one second airfares you should only be given I'm saying it categorically that's my view for traveling on parliamentary work between your residence to Delhi and back and nothing more if that is 30 35 trips fine why should they get more? I am not in favor. Unless they are called to Delhi more, then you can't expect the average MP. It's not Rahul Bajaj. He can afford it. In fact, for your information, Rahul Bajaj, in last 10 years, rightly or wrongly, has not gone into a, a train or a railway. And I did not have the time to recover the airfare from the... That's because you travel government. in but your that's private not relevant because that's Exactly, I do. I do travel in my private plane. So I am not the right the kind of ex uh, right example. But the fact remains... Arnav. May not be many people like me, but there are a large number of people who are not even taking advantage of the whole facilities which are available to them. Question is not that. Question is the bad, the bad vibes which come are because of what Abhishek said and what I said earlier. There are some MPs, 10, 20, 30, 40 percent maybe, are not the right kind no, of people. But, but I, the political parties and the leaders of political parties, and I said leadership in defense services, well, in the industry, in bureaucracy, in media, in politics. Yes, many of us are wrong. Rahul Bajaj. be corrected. And we, Rahul Bajaj, yes, while, you, you, yes, while, while many of the points you make, and I think many of the points Abhishek Manu Singhvi makes are extremely reasonable. I'm putting this on record that your views are more reasonable than many of the other MPs or ex-MPs. I disagree on only one point and I want Jai Shankar Prasad to come on this. Why not a comparison with the army jawan? When we compare to the army army officer, why are we told that's emotional or sensational? Because the IAS officer compares to the army officer. The MP should legitimately allow himself to be compared to an army officer in the percentage terms of a hike an army officer gets. Yeah, both serving the country, you see. Yes, General Prasad. Absolutely. It, it, there has to be some relativity. I mean, I, what I would like to say four days ago, the half the cabinet was against it. Within four days, the entire government is supporting it. And it is approved. Here is a set of people in the society who have decided their own thing in four days' time. Of course, it's been going on for a year, as Mr. Singhvi says. As Mr. Singhvi rightly says, there should be a special committee to decide their pay and allowances also yeah. in relationship to and in conformity with other society, uh, people in the society, the other uh, civil servants and the armed forces people. What, are, what my biggest point today is this, that even a court gives a decision and the government doesn't find it possible to implement it because they don't have the funds to do it. Here is, here is, here is a situation where you're paying such huge amounts to people without even considering for more than four days oh. and here is an army and armed forces which has got a court decision in their favor yet you're not willing to accept and implement I, it. I, I, I mean, I, I forget about what they are being paid, forget about what we are being paid. No. Where is the justice in this? No, I, I, Mr. Singhvi, can you tell me, where is the justice in denying the armed forces the legitimate thing which the courts have given in their favor? Why is the government not implementing it? You can't say that you are no. not aware of these facts. These facts are no. appearing in the newspapers, in the media, day in and day out. The armed forces people have gone and returned the medals to the president, has been making headline news, it, yet nothing seems to happen. Whereas in the parliament, because some fall. government may fall, because may some people may just not vote for a particular motion, we may have to change it. I mean, there has got to be some kind of, uh, some kind of logic to give equal justice to everybody in the society. Dr. Singh, please respond to the points the general made, sir. Uh, the first point is that if there is any court order, which is not being implemented by the government, I would stand up for these gentlemen and argue for contempt of court. It's as simple as that. It will get you the relief in two days, in two weeks. Who is defending it? The I am not nobody gone can. The government has gone in The point of the matter is, but, but, there is no but, such thing as the government. Let me tell you very clearly. You Please, have gone, let me you have gone into review petition Please now. let me complete. Please let me complete. What is there in a legitimate part of the legal process anybody is entitled to invoke? Don't just use the generic word government. There is an individual department, an individual officer who may or may not be acting wrongly. Mm. You are entitled to take stern action. You may have a slight delay in the review petition, get the review petition dismissed. If they do not still implement, you will have a contempt of court order. 
I don't, I fail to understand how, I mean, I'm not even supporting it in the least. Therefore, there's no question of linking it with the MP salary point. Secondly, I must put it on record or not, that there is one thing to say that I support partly or largely the increase because I believe that the large number of our MPs are abysmally paid and they need more money. But that is very different from saying, and the Congress certainly does not support, that if you increase by a certain decision from 16 to 50,000, you should disrupt parliament or have a dharna or have another mock parliament yeah. for the further increase. That yeah. is a very different thing. I don't support it. Absolutely. I certainly don't support it. I think it's that looks a very bad. bad signal. I think it also makes you feel that on the one hand there is increase, but on the other hand there is drama for a further increase. Uh, yeah. And to disrupt parliament, yes. apart from making a protest, is wrong. Number yes. three, yeah. number three, I have said in the beginning already that I would strongly support, in fact that was the proposal earlier and I am sure it will happen in the near future, it's only a bit of a delay that a statutory commission or an independent no. commission decides these things. That will give much no, more credibility. What's the point? The the same in no, no, Adi, Dr. Singhvi. No, no, one minute. No, one Dr. Minute, Singhvi, what's the minute, point one. of a commission after the hike one has been given? You, then take back the hike. No, 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 have please, a commission, no, no. then decide the hikes are given. Hari. One minute, these hikes are given every few years no. because they have to keep pace. So there will be another time in the future no. when this will be required. No. But when you start talking that this bureaucracy compared to the defence services, so well then this no. parliamentary committee which has recommended the increase no. and uh, uh, less than the recommendation so has been given, this parliamentary no. committee no. No. also compares no. the bureaucrats' salaries, no, no, Dr. the bureaucrats' Singhi. perks. Dr. Singhvi. On that reasoning of yours, with poor India and the large part of India being no. poor, no Dr. Singhi. the government of India for the last 60 years should be getting Dr. Dr. Singhvi. Dr. Singhvi. No secretary, no bureaucrat should be doing that. No, Dr. Singhvi. Dr. Singhvi, I only quick rebut to you on that and I'll, I'll let Rahul Bajaj have the last word. Because when it came to army officers, I'm harping on army officers or any part of the service, there was always process when army men raised their reservation over the six pay commission, two committees were constituted that included bureaucrats and politicians to look into their grievances. Recommendations were made. There was a process which was followed. High, high powered committee was formed. Before that, there was no, no hike given. But for MPs, hike will be given and then commission will be formed for the next hike seems a little, you know, little too generous. Okay, little no. too elastic. There is no commission, so there is no, there is no commission, so there is no other way except the cabinet yeah. deciding and the MPs voting. Okay. This no. is an unfortunate doctrine of necessity because law can't be made without MPs voting even if for their own cause. No, but I really appreciate that. I really appreciate the Dr. point Dr. that you Singhvi. made, Dr. Singhvi, that maybe the more well, you know, those who are more well taken care of, the professionals, the higher earning MPs should not be given this kind of hike. I think that is a really good suggestion. Rahul Bajaj, quick last word from you. Two, three, four points. One, I share with you, now forget today and tomorrow, but this doesn't sound nice that parliament members decide their own salaries. There must be a third party. Behavior pattern is a different matter, I'll come to that. But salaries in future, it's been done now, right or wrong, okay, I'll come to that in a minute, should not be decided by the parliament and the parliament members, but by a third commission like it is done for other people. It should be done within six so months. change it now, Rahul so Bajaj. Three will come so change after it three now. Sorry? Why give the hike and change it? No, let, let's make the change now. Let Why can't complete. we make the change now? Complete. No, that's a matter of opinion. I think uh, if legally that can be done, fine. And uh, if legally it can't be done, you see, I love my democracy, Arnab, as I'm sure you and Sidhu Saab and the General Saab all love the democracy. But we all know for last 63 years we are paying a big price for our democracy. Populism, for getting votes, in spite of all the garbage the government is doing, they are getting votes. Either a BJP let government come to power or a Congress let government come yeah. to power. So, we get the government we deserve. And what I, I fully agree with also Abhishek, not only that third party must decide yeah. that, but yeah. the way this has been happening the last 10 days, I feel ashamed. As a former MP, I feel but, ashamed. But we should, After 2 p.m. Uh, in the afternoon, there is a very poor attendance in Lok Sabha. We must bother people. This time there were 400 people. Sorry? Captain Sidhu, yes. We are very well, uh, we are very well aware of the internal security of the country and external threats. Everybody is aware today. And uh, why you are not bothered to look after your armed forces personal? They are being shabbily treated. Should, Even Supreme, Supreme Court has said, don't treat your officers shabbily. 100% disabled officer, you, give, you, you know how much pension they gave it to me? 121 rupees in 80. And uh, 32 years it took me to fight my case. Who, who are the, these people? And I won and I got, they went to Supreme Court. 
I, I born in the Supreme Court. Now they say we will go for review petition. What is this ridiculous nonsense? They want me to waste another 10 years. I think a point has been strongly made. I think, I think Captain Sudhu, you made your point really strongly today. And I think there is complete unanimity on one thing. You have to Nobody take care of Captain everyone who serves the point. nation. Take care of everyone who serves the nation. And Dr. Singhvi, I think the request goes out from everyone today. 500% I think people will really, you know, I don't know what the reactions will be. There's a strong reaction to this. It has to stop somewhere. You made some really good suggestions today, so has Rahul Bajaj. Thank you all and thank you also General Shankar Prasad for joining me on my second news hour debate tonight. Thank you so much. And coming up on the other side, there have been some threats to the Sikh community in the Kashmir Valley. Everyone's condemned it. But is that enough? And who's fueling? Back in two minutes with our third news hour debate tonight.